gosh. Where's oh, so much? This was another knitted skirt, but again, it's just an option. Yes. And I've got some other vests as well, but I just yeah. thought that was quite Perfect. cute. And then I love, I love this. Yes. So oh, that I love. Which, to add this? Yes, that would look really just nice. to give it a bit more of an edge. Yeah, yeah, I like if that. If not, it was also, really? you know, to go with I quite like the idea that with the trousers, yeah. We can try it on. I mean, yes. as in those or those. Yeah, with, the, yeah. with my ones. Also, it's quite nice to throw in some of your personality. Yes. Also lovely. <laughs> you go back to what you just did, dude. That's it, you got the mess. Yeah. Maybe bring your hands really up cool. again. Hands up again. No, not nice. Is that getting all the rain? How's the shine and everything? It's late. I think that was turning to the left a little bit, yeah. But beautiful, like yeah, that's beautiful. Round. I love that. You that's turn again to your left? Yeah, I hope so. I would be surprised because you were like, oh, Where is my lattice? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it looks quite nice with skin. Yeah. Mm. I think it looks nice with skin. I really can. Well. I don't know how to take it. I just see. Not for a while. That's nice. That was nice when your hand was in there. This is very natural. More natural. Yeah. A good old face scratch. <laughs> document it oh <laughs> to prove it happened you didn't see that um it's every light switch that there is uh it's friday it's friday at four um i'm going out to meet i've got three evening plans tonight because all three of my friends have descended on me at once <laughs> so there's the, uh, the pub for pack my friend james then i'm seeing my agent josh for a glass of wine and seeing sarah at another pub so it's going to be a nice fun night and I actually feel like I've not had a London night in ages. I'm just getting ready. I was going to wear this top. This video is going to contain sponsorship from Arquette, by the way, which is where this green top's from, um, which I really, 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 really like. It's just slightly too cropped, which I'm fine with, but I just find I have to be in a super confident mood to go for cropped. And I have, I mean, I've had an okay day, but I thought my the IUD slash coil has moved and it hasn't thankfully but to double check that it hasn't it means I've had a day of being prodded and poked very uncomfortably at the doctors in the hospital and everything's fine but it's just left me feeling a little bit saddened not sad but you know just a bit in there and I don't know just basically unless I'm feeling 100% I can't wear a crop top don't ask me why well you can ask me why it's just one of those things for me so I really love this but today's just not a crop top day um, and it's also not ever how I feel about it in my body. Like, I don't care if I'm slightly bloated or whatever. It's just more like, I don't know, it's a mental thing for me. And today, it's not a crop top day, but how it's so good. I love the long sleeves, and I will try and brave it over the weekend. It's going to be a bit warmer tomorrow, so I might go for it tomorrow just with jeans and no jacket and coat. Whereas today's going to be a coat day, and I think this is going to be best without a coat. But anyway, I think it's really, really flattering. So one of my reservations of it are about how it looks. It's just me feeling basically like I want to wear jeans and t-shirt. Um, but Arquette also sent this long sleeve white t-shirt, which for this evening I'm going to wear. They sent some jeans too, which I'm going to show you guys. Um, but because I've had a horrible day, with, you know, stomachy kind of a day, I just really want to wear baggy, baggy, baggy jeans. So these are the APC men's ones, but the Arquette ones I've got to show you fit perfectly. They're so good. So I'll show you those as well over the weekend, but it's just not a, it's not a perfect fit in jeans day for me. It is definitely a wind down in the pub day though, after, after just, yes. Anyway, so I'm running late as per usual, but I thought I would try and get ready in time to show you my outfits. I'm just gonna put on the t-shirt instead of the knit, but yeah, we'll show you the knit with a better outfit when I feel more equipped to be wearing it, I think. Okay, white t-shirt. They've got really wide baggy sleeves, which I'm actually just gonna roll up for today. Um, the samples that I have from my Tarder and Toy collection are with 
with the brand so that they can shoot the product pages so everything's ready so without the jewelry that i've been wearing every day so i'm gonna actually put in so oh no do i no i'm just gonna keep the jewelry really minimal i don't even feel like wearing a necklace you know i'm just gonna stick to this i think apc jeans i've got the tabby boots on loads of you commented in the last video saying you didn't like them which is completely fine i asked for your opinion and i can't then dictate what that opinion is going to be um but i am i really like them now that i've kept them i'm really glad that i have kept them but also very understand why people don't like them they're not for everybody I and mean, they're only very recently something that i feel like wearing so um yes i get that very much so however i'm enjoying wearing them so i'm going to put the other one on every cupboard door in this house open da, 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 da. Okay, okay. Mm. Well, the new lcd sound system song out it's so good gosh this is quite a power shot isn't it i haven't bought the tabby socks yet so i just kind of have to shove my socks between my toes which actually isn't too uncomfortable but i would i should order some tabby socks i think it might make things a bit easier so we've got, yeah, we're in. Tabby boots, APC men's jeans, long sleeved white t-shirt. I instantly feel more comfortable. I know it's so boring, but does anyone else get this? It's like emotional dressing. It's not, not that I feel emotional. It's more like I just feel a bit vulnerable, maybe is the word. And then I think I'm going to go with, I think I might go with my, Buffy coat from Vince, the leather one, it's quite warm. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. This feels good. Do I want to add a belt? Yeah, maybe I want to add a belt. Maybe I want to go for a belt too. Let's have a see. Come out, come out the way. I've been covered, dude. Come on, sir. Come out the way, geez. Come out the way. Oh, sir. Oh, oh, oh no. That's a big part. We love this. We love this tension. Oh, so tense. So funny. Oh! No pressure, Jamesy. Hey! Oh, he was like 70. Oh! Okay guys, just excuse the crease t-shirt. Um, these are the Arquette jeans that I mentioned the other day. They are so good, really good length, kind of very much mid-rise, literally just below my belly button. But I mean, such a good fit and such a good wash. I love an indigo denim because I think it's really easy to kind of dress up and down and just is always obviously a bit smarter than a lighter wash so i'm going to watch the bit of the london marathon today i've got on a very old uniqlo t-shirt the tabbies and i'm going to wear my bodhi jacket um it's about two guys actually probably about half two now and i have not left the house all day because i have not been able to stop reading a book which i started yesterday and have genuinely been cancelling social plans to read it was one of those i just could not put down so i'm going to talk to you about that for a second before i leave the house which i'm very late to do because i just had to finish this book so um i also slept for 11 hours which i never do and clearly really needed that so i'm feeling incredibly refreshed and good um and yeah excited to go and see a bit of the marathon and probably have a beer um really 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 good jeans just so flattering good morning guys this morning you are balanced on a salt and pepper grinder. Quite a good angle though, no? I am just making myself some brunch. Um, it's like gone 11 and I just sat at my desk and time has run away from me. And suddenly I'm starving. I have got some very good slippers to show you from my camp. Don't know if I can get my leg up high. Oh yes, look at these. These are like the perfect indoor outdoor slipper. They're leather and shearing inside. I'm going to show you them properly once I finish doing this. But they are so comfy for around the house. I can't stop sneezing at the moment. I was just about to sneeze and it went again. I don't know if it's like allergies kicking up again, hay fever, but it feels too late in the year for that. 
but I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna have some fried eggs on toast with tomatoes and avocado and a second coffee and my favorite breakfasts slash brunches. Here they are. I've got beetroot on them. I need to make beetroot thing last night. I dropped beetroot on them, which is so annoying. But they're so good. They are in motion, in action. Okay, guys, let's have a bit of a book chat. Sat here in my comfies, including the slippers. I've got one more piece from Market to show you in this video, which I'm going to wear. It's another pair of shoes which I'm going to wear today once I'm in the getting out and getting dressed and being up and about portion of my day, which we're not in just yet. Um, we just do need a bit of a clean better, I think. So I've got two books to talk about. I'm still making my way through the booker long list very slowly. I find, I think I've said this before in a video, but I find it so hard to read when I'm in New York. Um, I don't know what it is. I think, I think it's because it's so overstimulating being there. I just ever really struggle to ever get into the state where I can just sit and read and feel content with it. Um, so this book took me a month to read, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong at all with a book taking that long to read. Like it takes as long as it takes, but it's not my norm reading pace. Um, which I think also goes to say a little bit about how I found the book. I just don't think a historical fiction's for me. Um, so it follows the story of John Wilkes Booth and his family. Um, and I mean, it's not really anything because it's historical fiction. So it's something that happened. John Wilkes Booth is who assassinated Lincoln. Um, and I, like, I didn't enjoy, I haven't read that many historical fictions, but I've not been, it was never a fan of Wolf Hall. I think there's something about it. Something about them just stops me getting really into the narrative and into the characters as characters because I'm constantly like, oh, but that, that they're real and this happened, but did this bit happen? And is this bit fictionalised and is this bit not? And I just can't relax into it, basically. Um, and so, yeah, this just took me ages to get through. I found it really easy to put down and then once I did, I wasn't really thinking about it either. Um, but that being said, it is it kind of is like a family saga, which is quite a nice way of doing... It, you know, it's not just all about Lincoln and about the Civil War and about the events leading up to his assassination, a lot of which I also didn't know about. Uh, so it was interesting in that sense. But it's very much a family saga within that, which I think I think a lot of people will really enjoy this book. If that sounds like your kind of thing, you're going to like it. I just ultimately, it's not mine. This book, on the other hand, I think is one of the best books I've ever read. The Trees by Percival Everett. Um, I've not read any of, any of Everett's... Oh my gosh any other of Everett's novels and now I really really want to um I couldn't put this down I was like cancelling social plans to sit and read this book it is a detective fiction so it's very much that in that it is like a proper page turner you cannot put it down it's really like punchy it's very easy to read um you literally honestly like I was just walking around the house with my head in this book I couldn't put it down at all um but within that, it is just so much more. It's an incredibly sharp commentary on racism in America, um, especially lynchings and um, the history of America and present day America. And I'm not going to say very much more than that because it feels like one of those books, the less you know about it, the more you'll get from it as well. Um, even in the way that the blurb is very cleverly written to not give away too much. But it's two black detectives in Mississippi solving a murder, essentially. Um, and I, I think it's one of the most impactful books I've ever read, one of the most impactful books talking about race that I've ever read. Um, the ending gave me goosebumps. It's so, so well done. It's incredibly humorous. Like the names in it, if anyone's a Bob Mortimer fan, the names that um, Everett's written remind me of the ones that Mortimer comes up with when he's talking about things like one of the characters called Dr. Reverend Fondle and things like that. Um, so there's this like satirical edge to it the whole time, but at the same time, it's really tackling head on the severity of this issue and how racism in America is as prevalent as it has ever been. Um, it's incredible. Honestly, I can't recommend it enough. So all right, this is already my winner of the book prize. Unfortunately, they didn't ask me to be a judge this year, but um, then my letter must have got lost in the post. Um, I have got more to read from the book list as well. So 
I'm currently reading one which is upstairs called Case Study, but I'm, I'll talk about it when I finished it rather than halfway through it. But yeah, getting back into this for the weekend has got me back into my reading flow. Um, I'm leaving for New York again on Friday, so I'm sure I'll lose my reading flow as soon as it's come back to me. But um, nice long flight to read and I'm going to I'm determined to finish the book along this because it was a, one of the only goals I've set myself of the year. So I really if I can't do that one, then really what am I doing? Um, but yeah, it's it, what day is it? so it's Tuesday. Um, I'm actually super anxious today for no particular reason, which is so annoying. And I'm just going to sit and get through some work. I've got so much work on right now, which is really good, but just lots and lots. And um, yeah, just get my head down, basically. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys about books. In fact, what I'm going to do is edit this video. And then, and I'm so anxious in half an hour, I'm going to go for a walk and show you the, the last piece from Marquette that I've got, the shoes and go for a walk in them so that then I can, because I've not worn them out yet, so I'll show you them and then I'll go for a walk and then I can tell you if they're comfortable as well, because that's what you're all going to want to know. And I'm very pleased to say the tabbies are very comfortable. No one seems to like them. No one. I spent, like, went out this weekend um, with just like a group of lads a couple of times and watching their faces when they clock them is like, oh God. <laughs> and it's just making me like them more and more, if I'm honest. So, um, yeah. That's the tabby update. I'm gonna go and edit this. It's nice sitting here with this background. What a good place to sit and review books. Maybe I can do that as the thumbnail now. Oh. They're good. They're really good. They're really soft. I'm gonna go for a walk now so I can say how comfortable they are. Not a super long walk, but long enough to know if a new shoe is gonna hurt. Wearing them with my gold jeans, old men's Arquette jumper and the men's Arquette coat from last season as well. Love the way that white shoe just, it's like kind of how a white trainer would just make this outfit seem a lot lighter, maybe a bit less formal, but the fact it's a loafer, even better in my opinion. I've got my normal size, they definitely fit true to size. And I don't think they're going to be uncomfortable at all from initial thoughts. It's really soft leather as you can see, but let's see how we go. Hello guys, I'm back, just taking them off. So comfy, they're already like softening in really nicely. I walked for like, I mean, not too long, like 25 minutes. Sorry, I thought the cat was outside. But um, I think that would be long enough for them to start pinching and rubbing if they were going to. I will let you know going forward if anything changes with the comfort review. But, oh, I thought that was a spider for a second, which is my own hair. But yeah, really comfy, really recommend. Everything will be linked in the description box. Thank you so much to Arquette for working with me on this video. I'm also going to link the sign up to Tarder and Toy, my collection with them. Again, if you would like to sign up for all the updates on that, um, the beginning of this video was like behind the scenes of that shoot, which is so exciting. So exciting, actually. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see you in the next one. I'm going to try and get like a styling video done for you guys before I go away again on Friday. So there'll be hopefully like a nice autumn, winter looks video coming your way very soon and then it will be more like interiors content um and new yorky content after that so stay tuned <laughs>